As I have informed you, she's your new team leader, Yua Hanasaki. She may look like this, but she's very skilled. Listen to her and do as she says. If I may say, section manager, what do you mean by, she looks like this, but... I would prefer if you did not treat me like a child. Oh, sorry about that. Jeez. Ahem. Hi, everyone. I'm Yua Hanasaki. I guess some may be confused as I am a team leader from a different team, but I hope I will be able to be a part of this wonderful team and make it the best. The person who introduced herself is the child senpai. She's been famous since I came into the company and is really cute and skillful. Not only is she skilled as a system engineer, but also is trusted by clients and often brings in projects. We all introduced ourselves to her so that she could get to know the team members. We introduced ourselves in turns, and it was my turn now. I'm Kanata Muto. I don't really have a programming language I'm specifically good at. Such a burden. As I introduced myself, the section manager glared at me and clicked his tongue. Like he said, my current boss thinks of me as a burden to the team. <laughs> Section manager, I don't think that was an appropriate comment. It is power harassment. Oh, Hanasaki-san is trying to defend me. But the previous team leader wanted to change positions because he couldn't deal with him any longer. That doesn't mean you can say stuff to his face. Well, think of it this way. This team is really excellent, but he's the only one that's pulling everyone's legs. What would you call that, eh? Shouldn't we analyze why he is having trouble, and then think of a solution? Then you do it. You are the team leader. I was going to do that anyways. Let's do our best, Muto. If you don't understand anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Thank you. I'll do my best. Apparently the rumors were true. Hanasaki-san is a really nice person. I'm so glad I can work with someone like her, but... Oh, Hanasaki-san, I wanted to... Sorry, I've got to go. I don't have time until the next meeting. If there's anything you don't understand, just email me. Hanasaki left those words and went out of the room. Ever since the first day, she was like this. And she would always come back after hours. Because of that, some of the team members were getting stressed. I thought Hanasaki-san was going to make the team better. She's not doing anything at all. So true. I thought she was supposed to be really reliable. I'm quite disappointed. She's one of those trusted people, so I bet she has been given loads of work to do. Hey, hey, it's not nice talking ill of your boss. Kanata-san, I'm sorry. We didn't mean to be so mean. <laughs> I know. We have lots to do today, so let's get going. Okay. The kind girls are starting to get stressed out. The absence of the team leader is making the whole team stressed. Hanasaki-san didn't seem like the type that can't manage her own schedule. <laughs> I see. This dirty old man. I'm so sorry, everyone. Oh, everyone's gone. Two hours into the after hours, Hanasaki-san returned to the office. Judging from her attitude, she's probably panicking from the fact that she hasn't got a clue on how the team is doing. Hanasaki-san! Oh, Muto. Do you still have work to do? Kind of. I still haven't finished the section I want to complete by today. Oh, I see. I'm so sorry, I know you are busy, but could you update me on the team progress? The fact that I am working after hours means that I had not completed my tasks yet. But Hanasaki-san didn't move a single eyebrow hearing that. Maybe she just wanted to know about the team's progress. But perhaps not making a single disappointed face was her personality. Wow, our team really is excellent. Hanasaki-san was impressed at the progress the team had made. Everyone is around a week ahead of what they should be doing. We never know what will happen when we test the system, so being ahead really helps. But being ahead of time at this point in the process is quite plausible. Except me, of course. You are... okay. You aren't exactly behind schedule or anything, so don't worry. She was trying to cheer me up now that she knew I was quite behind the others. I'm not behind schedule, but I always work after hours and finish my tasks. Because I'm finishing the tasks with after hours and everyone is way ahead. It will probably look like I am left behind on the team to Hanasaki-san. I'm sorry. It's alright. Putting that aside, you really are skilled. You know each team member's progress. You might make a really good project manager. 
A project manager is an important role who directs and manages the entire project. Although it does sound like she was saying that I am not cut out to be a system engineer, but it seems like Hanasaki-san is the type of person who looks at what people are good at, rather than pointing out what they can't do. She's a truly kind person. And so yeah, I'm really sorry. I would like to help you with your other stuff, but I still have things I need to do. No, no, please. This is something I must complete, so... You do seem very busy. Well, yeah. Is there a problem? I don't know if you would call it a problem. I know. Are you free after work? What? Tomorrow is a holiday, so do you want to go drinking? Can you drink, Hanasaki-san? What's that supposed to mean? I'm older than you, you know. Don't treat me like a child. I mean, sure, I can't drink beer because it's bitter, but... This person is super cute. Hey, you smiled. I told you, don't treat me like a child. Yeah, I know. Do you really, though? I do, I do. Hmm, oh well. We need to work now anyways. Let's talk later. Hanasaki-san said that and sat down at her seat and started working. Wait, what? Muto's typing is way too fast. He is programming, right? He's typing the speed of making a normal document. Muto? Yes? Are you programming right now? Yes. Oh, okay then. Huh? Is it even possible to write a program at this speed? I was really curious about that. But right now, I had to focus on the task I was doing. Hmm, finally finished. Hanasaki-san finished her work around two hours later. Have you finished, Muto? Yes, I finished. Oh, sorry for making you wait. Wait, are you studying, Muto? Huh? Oh, yeah. It's a waste of time not doing anything while waiting, so... Oh, don't worry. I did log out of the system, so I'm not being paid for this. Well, I'm not worried about that. Are you okay? He's making an effort because I'm behind. He definitely has passion. He's just probably not doing it right. Oh, um, uh, yeah, I'm fine. Let's go drinking then. I cannot believe that this nice boy is being treated terribly here at work. After I get everything out of the way, I will look after him and train him. But first, I need to praise him for working hard today. Hanasaki-san? Okay. Let's drink a lot tonight, Muto. Um, she did say we were drinking, but... A lot? Uh, I can't drink anymore. I did try to tell you that you've had too much. Here, drink some water. It was okay until we got to the izakaya, but she was probably really stressed out. She was drinking like everything was water, so she turned out like this. The place was closing soon, so we had to go, but can you get home, Hanasaki-san? Huh? Yes, I can. What do I do? No, she can't. I want to take her to her home, but I don't know where she lives. Maybe she will tell me if I ask, but it felt kind of wrong to ask where she lives in this situation. But if I take her to a hotel, that will definitely cause trouble. After thinking about what to do with her, I decided to take her to my home. There we go. This is going to be troublesome when she wakes up. Every single option I had led to trouble, so I ended up bringing her here. She looks like the serious type, so she might be angry that I took her home. I wonder how I should explain this situation to her when she wakes up. She is kind, so I have a feeling she would smile and let things slide, but... What should I do? Huh? Oh, Muto. Oh, you woke up. Yes, do you need some water? <laughs> what? I was leaning in to see her face closely. She pulled my arms and I couldn't resist and fell onto the bed. Hanasaki-san! I'm proud of you, Muto. What? I'm proud of you for not giving in to all the things people say at you. It's alright. I get you. I understand you, even if others don't. She's trying to cheer me up. It's been a long time since someone has said something like that to me. My chest is very warm. I knew that this was not okay, but I couldn't resist and surrendered myself to Hanasaki-san. And... I fell asleep like that, which made Hanasaki-san super confused. Why am I sleeping next to Muto? But she slowly remembered what happened yesterday and was able to calm down. She begged me to forget what happened yesterday. 
We were still busy with work every day, and we were both working late again. One day, I realized that Hanasaki-san was acting a little unusual. Hmm? Are you alright, Hanasaki-san? Oh, um, yeah, I'm fine. Well, you don't look alright. If you are sick, you should go home. But I need to finish this by today. It's fine. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> this isn't the system that our team is working on, is it? Yeah. I'm looking after another team, and that one is one step from failing. Have you been working on that since you were moved to this team? Yeah. Apparently the team leader for another team was hospitalized that day. So the section manager gave me the job. So that guy gave Hanasaki-san a project that was already failing and made her do the aftermath? He did seem very unfriendly to Hanasaki-san, so maybe this is some kind of harassment. Do you need to finish this that badly? Yeah. To be honest, I don't know if we can finish it by the deadline, even if I finish this today. I see. Let me just check the program. What? Could you tell me what the system is about and how you want to develop the system? No, you're not on the team. But it's about to fail, right? Maybe you could talk to the clients and settle this issue. But the failure of a project will affect the trust that the company has gained. So I don't want it to happen. But can you use this programming language? It's different from the programming language that this team uses. Don't worry, I know it. But you are... I know it feels uneasy since you've heard lots of rumors about me. But I want you to believe me. Just this one time. Okay. I trust you. Hanasaki-san told me the general idea of the system, and she showed me the system blueprint. I built an image of how I wanted to do it and execute it. How? The program is being built so quickly. Muto, what in the world? Sorry, but we don't have time, so let me focus. Oh, sorry. That's right. I shouldn't interrupt. But this speed is unbelievable. Why is he treated like a burden? Plus, he writes everything smoothly, which means he memorizes all of these. Phew! We made it. How? How did he finish the whole program in this short amount of time? And the test run works perfectly! Well, if we test it a couple of times, we might find some errors. I'll do the tests if you need a hand. Oh, no, don't worry. This program was supposed to take longer, so... Thanks to you, we can make some time for test runs. But this speed... Was this the programming language that you were good at? Then why... No, it's like I said when I introduced myself. I don't have a specific programming language that I'm good at. But... but... but that... that speed! Huh? Do you mean to say that... you're this proficient in another programming language as well? Well, not at all. But if it's a commonly used one, then yes. Who, who are you? Why do people think you are a burden? Sorry, I'm a little tired. I have an early morning tomorrow, so if you'll excuse me... Hey, hey wait! I didn't want to explain everything, but Hanasaki-san kept on asking me. But I thought that it was a little strange explaining it to myself, so I kept silent. The following day, Nagura-san, I decided to talk to the previous team leader about Muto. Oh, Hanasaki, what's the matter? Why didn't you tell me about Muto? He's so skilled. Why did you treat him like he was incompetent? Hey, don't say misleading stuff. Is there anyone on the team treating him like that? What? The only ones treating him like that are people like the section manager and above. In reality, though, I think he's the most skilled engineer of all of us. But I heard that you got tired of Muto being incompetent. Well, you got that wrong. I didn't want to be his boss because he was so skilled. I thought that it was wrong that my subordinates were more skilled than I am. So I talked to the manager about that, but they just think I'm defending him. They think that he is incompetent because they only look at stats. I've told them that he is helping the other team members, but... He's helping the other team members? So you didn't know? He uses all of his working hours to help others. But why do such a thing? He is really good at taking care of people. But the main reason is because if you ask him, he solves them instantly. So everyone is relying on him. So he is doing his tasks only using after hours? Yeah, that's right. Projects progress much more efficiently that way. It's brilliant for us, but his part is a little too heavy. So I told him I would reduce his tasks, but he insists on doing his own part. And, well, he's stubborn. 
But so, that's why he uses his after hours to do his tasks. But then why doesn't he explain it to the section manager? I guess it's all just excuses for him. I think he doesn't want to blame things on the team members that rely on him. Why is he so stubborn? Oh, but it might also be that he doesn't like the section manager. Huh? So he is really skilled, but he is treated like he is incompetent because he is a nice person? So, you are the team leader now. If he quits, this company is going down, so try not to lose him. How irresponsible! I've been doing what had to be done, so I'll leave the rest to the young fellows. You're using that phrase wrong! I shouted at Nagara-san who was leaving. He completely ignored it though, but I see. Now I get it. He's so kind. By the way, he's really popular amongst young female employees, so you have lots of rivals. I wish you the best. What? What, 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 what are you talking about? It's, it's not like that. <laughs> I hope you get him. Nagara-san, you... After that incident the other night, Hanasaki-san got less busy so she could come see us and see how we were doing. And... Muto, let's go and eat lunch together. She invites me to lunch every day. I get off early, so do you want to go and eat somewhere? And she invites me for dinner as well. She seems to have become fond of me after that one incident. I feel like I got a new little sister when I see her. Aww. Hanasaki-san invited me to drink at her house because tomorrow was a holiday. Um, once we started drinking, she seemed a little moody. What happened? You are treating me like a child, aren't you? Even though I told you that I am an adult! What? No, I don't! You do! You stroked my head earlier. You are definitely treating me like a child. Oh, well, that was... It was true that she looked cute like a little sister smiling up at me and talking to me. My hands automatically stretched towards her. It seems as though this action made her mad. Sorry! Oh, it's not that I didn't like being stroked. I was actually quite happy, to be honest. She was happy? Then what was the problem? I am older. I am an adult woman. So you need to see me as one. Well, um, you shouldn't say stuff like that even when you're drunk because I might misunderstand. It's not a misunderstanding. I like you, Muto. So I want you to see me as a female. Huh? Huh? But you always treat me like a child. I guess I'll have to make you understand. Wait, what are you doing? She suddenly started undressing, so I quickly turned around and yelled at her. I am a grown woman, you know. I know! So you don't have to prove it like this! No, oh, stop with the excuses. Come here. Whoa! She grabbed me by the arm and pulled me over. Hold on, Hanasaki-san! <laughs> I'm going to teach you that I am an adult woman. She licked her lips as she said that. Obviously, we weren't dating, so I stopped her. After she was sober again, she was extremely sorry for what she had done. But after this incident, I could not see her as a cute little sister. I could only see her as an adult woman. And after knowing how she feels, I confronted her feelings. And after a month, we started dating. But that is a whole different story. I learned from this incident that I shouldn't judge women based on their appearances. 